thanks for joining me for another shave video. Um, this video is for uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Peter Child Callis, um, Rudds or uh, Jason Rudman on the uh, shave market. He uh, invited me to uh, join in. Um, so today I'm going to be using, where should we start? Let's start with the soap. This is uh, his soap from the um, Shaven Shop, which is uh, the Shaven Shop online.com. This one's the uh, Aqua de Florida, which is um, a take on uh, Florida water, which is, uh, is made by Ginger's Garden, I believe. It's got the, uh, you can either unscrew the lid or you can pop the lid open either way. I'm not bloomed the soap still dry so I'm just going to put a wet brush in there and uh, load from there. Uh, Peter uses custom brushes. This is my custom silver tip brush. It's a uh, Rod Neep um, silver tip with the um, liquid gold handle. Some of you may have seen it before. Uh, the razor is going to be... Peter normally uses a straight razor but um, I haven't got my finishing stone or uh, strop yet, so I'm going to be using a uh, DE. He's uh, used a few DE razors in uh, his last few videos. Um, his channel is Shaven with Charky on YouTube, so if you want, I'll go ahead and uh, check his channel out. So that's the soap, the brush, the razor. The blade is going to be the um, uh, what's it? Voscod for the fourth shave. Uh, post shave is Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. You've seen the Florida Water. And uh, I've chosen Ted Baker of London for the uh, post shave balm because um, Peter comes to London a couple of times a year for, uh, for business. So I thought that's, that'd be quite fitting. So I, hope, so I hope you've had a few good shaves since I saw you last. And also uh, Peter normally lathers on his face, his face lathers, so uh, I won't be bold lathering today. Let the brush a bit more. This uh, scent on this soap is pretty much a perfect um, match to the Florida water. To my nose it just smells like a, a strong cola smell. But others pick up a uh, lavender scent or um, a citrus scent. I think I'll re uh, Ginger's Garden makes several different types of soaps, tallow, vegan, etc. I think this one's vegan, I'm not sure. So hopefully that's enough there. Losing a hair there too. Stick the, uh, the little extra fell out the bowl on my face. It's a real pleasant scent. You've got to check um, if you don't know already uh, Peter's um, online store. Start off with um, soaps and aftershaves. Um, he collaborates with um, at least half a dozen soap artisans. Um, so they produce this kind of scents. He 
you like. You like sort of tobacco scents, um, cologne scents. Known people for about two years, just over two years now. It's very approachable. As you may see, I've got, a, got my Formula One t shirt on again. That's um, the Brazilian Grand Prix this weekend. My team, uh, McLaren, is sixth in the table at the moment, which is pretty good considering. Not really had a uh, performance for this season. Few days growth. Nice smooth shave here today. Nice razor and blade uh, combo. And seeing in the last few days, uh, people shave the days with the um, uh, gentleman's groom room soap.
heard on the radio today that uh, Donald Trump is just going back on his words already. So he's uh, really taken to this political uh, position like a duck to water. He said to be doing away with the uh, Obamacare, whatever it's called. Um, it seems to be sticking with the formula. Real cold and wet day today. Not very nice at all. Guess you're got to expect at this time of the year. So my week off, week off work has come to an end. It's just nice to be able to relax and do what you want, either jobs around the house or you got to worry about time. I work nights so Normally do a little bit around the house before I have to go to work. Do you have any uh, of uh, Peter's soaps, aftershaves? We can't obviously get the aftershaves here. Um, I believe some of them are um, alcohol free, but I uh, don't think I would risk because we get um, customs charges over here in the UK. I uh, bought this one when he first started, when he first opened the uh, shaving shop online. I believe the, um, the label on the lid has uh, changed. I 
I think it's just uh, within the last week he's uh, offering samples, um, soap and aftershave samples. That's it, two passes down. Yeah, so this is the uh, penultimate uh, race, the Brazilian Grand Prix this weekend. And then the uh, last one. So in a couple of weeks, I think that's Abu Dhabi. Mercedes has uh, romped away with uh, manufacturers or the constructors championship. They're on um, 679. Two of the uh, teams in previous seasons have been quite low on the uh, on the scoreboard. But they've uh, they've come come up quite quite a lot. Um, number ten is uh, Manor Racing with one point. Nine is Renault with eight points. Eight is Haas, the new uh, American team. They've done really well this season, for, you know, being their first season with 29 points. Toro Rosso, which is part of the Red Bull team, 55. My team, McLaren, which is uh, 74 points. And Williams in fifth with 136 points. Then uh, Force Indra in fourth, which has done really well, 145 points. Ferrari third with 365, two. Is Red Bull with 427 and as I said Mercedes at number one with 679. I'm just going to go back to the uh, puck and get a little bit more soap just for the uh, final pass and possible touch-ups.
watched um, Briar Wood 138 today, his latest video. Um, done an old, old Spice shave with the uh, Old Spice mug soap. I thought they'd all be snapped up by now, but uh, people still keep finding them. You see one or two on eBay, like people are selling them for like £40 or something like that. I guess a uh, sort of a collector's item. All the old spice stuff. Right, final pass against the grain. Do you have any uh, slant razors in your arsenal? They're not bad razors. Quite efficient, I think.
Very good. See if we need any touch ups. We'll do another full pass. Do the scent. Do a little bit around the neck on the side of the neck here. face. Not too bad. A little sting but not too much. If you benefit more from rinsing it off or leaving it on, I've always rinsed it off. Stick on the sides. Lavender today. Mm. 
Can do more. And let's go through the stars of the shave. It's the uh, Merca um, slant, all of 37C, with um, the Voshkod blade on the fourth shave. Peter's and uh, Irene's soap from the shaving shop, Aqua de Florida. The brush was the uh, Rod Neep. Silver tip, 26mm, with the uh, custom handle. There's lavender, witch hazel, the, uh, the free toner, aqua free toner. Then we'll put on the aftershave, which is Florida water. It's got a small hole in there, but uh, I'll still put my finger over the end to don't chuck out too much. Normally I get a sting from this, but not much for sting today. Let's have another, shall we? Why not? Very cheap. Well, no more than five pounds. Finish off the uh, Ted Baker from London balm. It's quite a thick, pasty kind of balm. I think it's got eucalyptus in this one. There we are. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for uh, your comments. Any questions? Leave them in the uh, comments comments box below. And uh, I'll see you in a few days for the next shave. Cheers. See you later. Have a good weekend. Have some great shaves. Bye.